Shauna Hazlett was born in Ohio to a close church-going family. When she was 12, a sibling's death sent her mother spiraling into a deep depression and drove her father into alcoholism. Shauna was left to raise her three younger siblings. Still, Shauna managed to graduate high school with honors. Then she did a four-year tour with the military where she was trained as a pharmacy technician. She had married and had two daughters, but experienced a wrenching divorce. Right around the time I got my divorce, I started seeing someone else. Mm -hmm. And his job was about to transfer him here. My job at the factory where I was working at was about to end. He said, do you want to go to Florida? I said, let's go to Florida. Shauna and her daughters moved to Florida. Within two weeks, the loving, hardworking man she had thought was Mr. Wright deserted them and left them stranded. Unexpectedly homeless, Shauna contacted an old friend's dad who allowed them to stay with him and his wife. They had heard about the Samaritan Inn and encouraged Shauna to apply. I didn't even know what Samaritan was. Shauna filled out an application and then returned to the family's home. So you go back to the family. I go back to the family and now their landlord's involved. She's like, there is umpteen million people living in your house. And she points at me, you've got two weeks to get out or everyone's going to be out. I was like, I need to find work and fast. So I, I spent two days driving his wife's car around everywhere. So you're two days run out and you don't have a job. I don't have a job. Desperate, Shauna placed a call to First Baptist. And I said, I filled out the application for your Samaritan Inn. I said, I have no place to go right now. I said, you know, and she said, the quickest I can get you an interview is Monday. And this was Friday. This was Friday. I went back across the street and I said, can I please stay here two more days? And they're like, no. That's when Shauna, with nowhere to turn, announced to the girls that they were going camping. So you slept in the open? Oh yeah. Exposed to the elements? With the children? Monday afternoon, Shauna faced an interview panel. Once the interview was complete, Chester Wood, the inn's director, asked Shauna what she was going to do now. And I said, honestly, sir, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, well, I'll tell you what you're going to do. He said, we're going to put you up in the hotel right across the street from the Samaritan Inn. And that's the deluxe? Yes. Okay. And that's where you're going to stay for a couple nights because your room's not ready at the Samaritan Inn yet. So you had an answer. Oh. And an answer. Two days later, what happened? It was moving day, right? It was moving day. Okay. And I was excited as all get out. And them kids, I don't even think, wanted to change their clothes, but what they wanted to hit the door in their pajamas and move. <laughs> did you ever think you'd be homeless? No. Did you, no. No, never. Never. I did pharmacy work. I had a good paying job. I had nice paychecks. I had a nice car. Divorce had gotten so bitter that I ended up giving all I wanted was my children. You know, I think that a lot of people, when, when someone says homeless, you know, you think about someone who maybe has an addiction problem and just they don't want to work, they just want to be feeding their addiction and not be held responsible. And that's not necessarily the case. That's sure not your case. There's so many people out there that are hurting and because of circumstances, they're just simply in a position where they're not able to provide for themselves temporarily. But that's what the Samaritan Inn is all about. Get people in here and help them to work through all of that and to get back on their feet and uh, hopefully find the love of Christ while they're at it. If someone is a resident here at the Samaritan Inn, they are not just laying around and being spoon-fed. They have requirements. They've got a case plan. They have people who are helping them with learning job skills and getting all the social services that they need. We're sitting here in a model room. You've got a room that's completed, but there's a whole wing that's not done. We just don't have the funds to finish it yet. Just keep in mind that the Samaritan Inn and the Christian Care Center are supported by separate free will gifts and offerings. So if the Lord leads you to give a separate donation to, to help things move along, that would be great. Shauna's future is bright. She developed a hunger to hear about Christ and committed her life to Him and was baptized. Father and the Son. 
She's working part-time and will soon take her test to become a Florida registered pharmacy technician. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter if the world were to end tomorrow. I'm going to heaven. 